Hello. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for coming. You're welcome. You're ready? Let's go. <sighs> ready? Born ready. <laughs> Born ready always. <laughs> Haiku. Boss lady. Eee. Boss babe. I, I've met you a long time ago, you know. I um, met you at the Dubai Media City. Right. When you were just starting, True. and I remember you had this um, suitcase with you. And the suitcase before wasn't a proper photography suitcase, it was just a exactly. maleta. Exactly, <laughs> you had the maleta and, and I'm like, okay, after all these years, we see you now and you're so successful. You know, not, not only in business, you've represented Filipinos out there in mainstream media and we're like blown away. And, and I always used to say na, you know, that girl's gonna go places. Thank you. H how, did you how did you make this all happen? What, what's, the, what's the secret? Tell, tell us about your journey. Um, to be honest, there was no plan. Mm -hmm. It was just making things work as we go. So initially, um, so when I first arrived here, I worked in a studio first. Mm -hmm. And then um, it was just, okay, how can I bring the family? And then eventually we brought the family over so everyone was here. And then at some point, you know when you feel stagnant? Mm -hmm. And I just closed my eyes, took that leap. And then my father told me, like, okay, here's X amount of dirhams. Mm -hmm. You make the most out of it. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, like, um, is this a gift or is this um, something that I'll... Mm -hmm. No, I'll pay you back for mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Because the moment that you tell me that this is just something that you give me, I know myself, I'll be complacent again. Mm -hmm. So, initially, I just tried to make it work because I had to pay him back. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> After I paid him back, it started growing. And then I met my partner, Jess, which is the partner in business too. Mm -hmm. He was telling me for about a year and a half already to hire people, start the office. And I'm like, I can't, because I feel like it was too scary enough. Pa. Mm -hmm. But I told him like, look, I'll wake up one day. And when I wake up, it's just straight shot from there. Mm -hmm. Because I know myself too well, and not until I... Because I don't want things half... What is a bad word? <laughs> half, bleep! Half bleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do things like not giving it my all. Yeah, I understand. So... And then that happened. One day I woke up and I was like, okay, do we have enough finances to pay someone mm -hmm. in full? Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, okay, yeah, we do. Um... Lalo na, I don't have a business background. Mm -hmm. Accounting. Exactly, yeah. It was all like, you know like how you do, okay, this is, like, your expenses at home, lights for X amount. Yeah. So it was that manual, how we did our, mm -hmm, our finances mm -hmm. before. But in my head, it was just, I won't start or get something, not unless I can pay it twice. Mm -hmm. So... The whole movement of the office was not until we were able to save up for something mm -hmm. and pay it double, then we won't move forward. I like that. I like that. That is something that a lot of entrepreneurs can learn from because normally what happens is that people will borrow money saying mm -hmm. that they will invest it. You mm -hmm. know, I, I guess if you don't have the money, then don't spend it, right? True. True. One of the things I've noticed with you, you know, even early on, and I thought that was always a winning quality, is that how well you related with people. You mm -hmm. had a natural rapport and a natural charm, you know, you're chatty and lighthearted. And I think that has helped you a lot, don't you think so? That actually started because 
I do have my own insecurities. Like mm-hmm. when I'm at home, I'm the complete opposite. I just, really? I cannot imagine this that. This is what everyone Seriously, is saying. Yeah. But most of the people close to my circle, they know that sometimes even when we're in a big group, I just keep quiet or mm-hmm. I'd go up alone yeah. first yeah. or um, I just shut down in the toilet, mm-hmm. play mm-hmm. Tetris. <laughs> really? Like, that's just my... <laughs> But, so for me to be able to, like every time I speak to someone, it's confronting a fear basically. Mm-hmm. So when I walk in a room and then I feel like I don't know an- anyone, instead of being in a corner, I'd make friends instead. And then in my head, I feel like, okay, this is me getting over it. Wow, getting that's it a done. great strategy, huh? And then, because um, I know it too, that if I don't confront it, I'll never there won't be any growth yeah. and it's just me that can confront it and you've won with that i mean you've won a lot of hearts and a lot of Thank business you. i guess because i think that's one of the things that makes you different from the other people who are in the same industry as photography and videography right because you have a personality yeah. people can relate well to you and i guess that's how you make business also right so I, i'm i'm astonished at uh, what you're, you're telling me right now and also one thing was i'm an only child so mm-hmm. it, it was always a struggle to make friends mm-hmm. and like um when you go in the obvious talaga <laughs> like it's when, really <laughs> i cannot imagine you telling me that this is mm-hmm. the last thing this is the last thing that i would expect from you but and also like being an only child you're used to playing on your own so mm-hmm. you don't really need to go out and make friends because yeah you, you can entertain your own self but then like i was like but it's not fun too, and it was it was a yeah. big fear mm-hmm. to 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 like sometimes when I talk to people, it came to a point that I have this script in mind. Okay, really? I'll start off with X Y Z, and if all else fails, I'll talk wow. about the weather. People should listen to this because <laughs> I, I mean this is a it's a classic example of how you turn a weakness into a strength. Mm. Because of all the things I can pick out from you as a person that would have really helped you in your career, I think this is the number one, at least in my, in, in my head, you mm. know, the, the way we see you. I mean, you've been featured in so, many, uh, you know, in so many platforms. You're one of the Filipinos who have broken out into the mainstream, you know, and is, and is embraced by multicultural mm. platforms, right? How does that feel for you? I'll be very honest, I freak out every time. Mm-hmm. Like, um, they see it in the office, like sometimes they're like, oh, you got featured in this, and I'm like, yeah. huh? They see the magazine feature, and mm-hmm. then it, it feels like this? No, in my head, I'm like, huh, why, bucket? Because mm-hmm. in my head, I was like, I have to pop myself up again. Mm-hmm. I have to push myself hard again. And then sometimes, as a human being, you kind of get, not tired, mm-hmm. but your bucket gets full into pushing yourself too hard too. Yeah. But again, translating it into like fear into something else. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay. But I, one thing that I'm happy about myself is I always confront my fear though. Mm-hmm. Like even if I feel overwhelmed by it, I would confront it like a lock in the toilet, mm-hmm. cry a little bit, and then get out and like, mm-hmm. okay, good snap, mm-hmm. good to go na ulit. Mm-hmm. But I am, every time there's a feature, I'm always like, Hala, wait lang. And that's why like the guys are, no, you embrace it, you enjoy it, you give yourself a yeah. pat on the back. And I'm Do like, you ever get intimidated when you see all these other people? Sobra, all the time. Uh-huh. Cause, so what's the mantra? Say for example, you're in this situation, what will Haiku do? This is one thing that my father has always taught me though, that everyone's poop smells the same. <laughs> it might sound so funny and weird. Oh my goodness. But that, please, please repeat that again. <laughs> so everyone's, it sounds better if the other word, but, <laughs> yeah. but everyone's poop basically smells the same. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes if it's a celebrity or like in my head, I'm like... And you've met a lot of celebrities, right? Yeah. Or like very powerful people. In my head, I'm like, wait lang, what I do, you do too. But there should be a sense of respect. Mm-hmm. towards the other because that other person did something better. Mm-hmm. Kaya dapat equal lang when you speak to 
to, to a waiter or mm -hmm. even to a CEO. And how I tell my guys is... I like that. That's a very mm -hmm. good point. Yeah. Um, like how you would speak to me mm -hmm. or how you would speak to your subordinates mm -hmm. should be the same. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. We're all human anyway. I love that. I love that. And yeah. um, we're all here for a reason. We're all here for either to provide for our families mm -hmm. or to secure for a better life or to achieve a goal. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, everyone has a purpose. So that's just what, like, um, I remember I got so Im um, intimidated with Quincy Jones. Because mm -hmm. it's a man of wisdom. Like, how yeah. do you direct someone of, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and then, um, but I sat right next, I don't know why, but mm -hmm. I sat right next to him. I put my elbows in his lap, and I'm like, how are you today? <laughs> and I'm like, I, just, I love that, because that's the attitude that wins, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I just stopped looking at who. Mm -hmm. But I would speak exactly the same mm -hmm. to, to, to whoever, not unless um, it, it's someone that has done me wrong. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. But in general, I think everyone should I be love treated that. equally. That's, that's a very good point. Speak as an equal. Mm. Speak on the same level. Mm. I, actually, that's why, you know, even especially in the Filipino community, we like doing True. this. Excuse me, you mm. know, we, we try to make ourselves so small and excuse me, ma'am, madam, mm. miss thing and miss that, you know. So I think there's a huge value mm. in speaking uh, equal, not only with the words that you say, but with how that makes you feel. Because mm. when you speak like an equal, you also feel like you're at par with that person and there's no need to be shy because... True everybody's got their own value right as long as the respect is there of course I think that's definitely the, that's just the most important thing like right um especially with people that are like celebrities or people that are of high power they like it when they're being spoken naturally because mm -hmm. sometimes you can't blame them they're way up there and everyone mm -hmm. is just like scared yeah no, or yeah. like intimidated mm -hmm. by them and then when they feel also that they can still be spoken to they feel human as yeah. well so that's, that's one right. thing that i noticed i like that i like that I, I hope a lot of people will will take a cue from that <laughs> you're so popular and so out there in the mainstream a lot of people know you i'm sure a lot of people hate you also mm. because fame comes with haters hey. and as we've seen with the latest illustrado 300 right there are people who don't like what you do and you know you cannot please everybody True. how do you deal with things like this to be honest in the beginning i do get hurt about it mm -hmm. i cried about it there were bottles of wine that were wasted for it okay but no, never waste uh, no consumed <laughs> <laughs> never wasted yeah but it took a while too mm -hmm. um it wasn't it was it was years of trying to be thick-faced and then I had this mentality na parang, wait, you're not helping me paying my mm -hmm. bills. You're not helping me grow as a mm -hmm. person anyway. And at the end of the day, they have their own opinion. Mm -hmm. So if it's someone that I don't find credible, if I know that they don't know my story, mm -hmm. or they don't know what we've been through or I've been through, mm -hmm. I'll just let them say my piece. And if that, if... Yeah. But then again, I feel sad for those people. Because mm -hmm. parang... In my head, like sometimes you want to rant, mm -hmm. but siguro when you when you get into business, you don't want to waste time. Yeah. So instead of typing and ranting and Is replying this worth to the all time? of that, right? Yeah. It's not gonna it's not gonna be converted to dirhams. Mm -hmm. So might, why might as well like sleep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or spend my time on something else instead? It's true. Instead of dwelling on it, mm -hmm. but others find joy in it. Mm -hmm. they, they, they thrive and they like mm -hmm. it, um, which I don't understand why other people actually enjoy other, putting other people down. Mm -hmm. parang, Some people have all the time in the world, I guess, right? True, but in my head, I was like, look, use that time mm -hmm. to do something else instead. Like, um, siguro instead of ranting, mm -hmm. if you went out and looked for a client, baka converted to... To, to something else. It's pasha. true. It's true. Or build a relationship with a friend. Yeah. Or take your mother out. Or spend I know. time with your child. Like I know. And I, I think, you know, again, within our small community, which is like a fishbowl, you know, there's this term crab mentality and all that. I think what people don't understand uh, is that when we try to destroy or discredit another Filipino, it all comes back to all of us. Yeah. Mm. You know, and I say this, um, if you make Filipinos look bad, 
don't feel surprised if the next time you're applying for the job, you don't get the job because it's our collective Everyone's, face out yeah, there. It's true, our reputation, true, so we're all connected, true. right? And I remember one thing too. See, like a lot of my parents' values, I realize actually apply. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Mama once told me that if someone tells something, like for example, if you would say something bad about mm -hmm. me, I wouldn't actually... It, like I would see more uh, you more negatively mm -hmm. compared to the person you're talking about because if you can say that That's about true. that person what can you say behind my back so it's not that person that I won't trust it's mm -hmm. basically you and so it says more about yes, the person, about who's, the person saying who's saying it, saying exactly. it rather That's true. than the, the the person of topic nah, it worked out well in the long run because I was able to eliminate people I didn't need. Mm -hmm. I was able to take out a big chunk of people that I know wouldn't be of help yeah. anyway. But which is sad because mm -hmm. most of them were people that were valuable to me too. Mm -hmm. um, but at some point, you just need to just... Who has to go has to go, right? I True. mean, we have to be practical and I guess we have to live life happier without the baggage, without True. the toxicity. I think one of the things that um, is causing hate when people like you become successful or when people like you be, be, uh, become famous is that they don't understand what you've gone through. True. They mm -hmm. think that this was just given to you on a silver platter just like that without you really working hard for it. What was the struggle so people can understand what Ooh. you've gone through? Um, First thing, like... Um, Are you going to cry? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, go the, ahead. The first thing really is, um, I lost so much time with my son. Mm -hmm. So much, especially building the office. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing that I'll be very sensitive about because it, it's time that I can't get back anymore. Of course, and yeah. And one of my wake-up calls was, it was the other, um, it was two weeks ago, and we both bought shoes, and he was the same shoe size as me, and I'm like, Wait, wow. that just was, like that. Yeah, and I'm like, were you a lot? Vito was like this yeah. before, and now all and of a sudden, like, yeah. Okay, so that's one. Second is um, having to balance time for myself. Um, at some point, I didn't know who I was anymore. It was just functioning, someone mm -hmm. functioning to work, someone functioning to just do things A, B, C. That I didn't know what, who I was. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it didn't translate that well, like I would just lock in the room or I wouldn't want to go out or... Yeah. Um, and then having to, 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 to balance or learn things straight mm -hmm. away um, and having to make it even if you don't know how to. Mm -hmm. But one of the biggest struggles that we have, like say, as an entrepreneur though, was not really knowing anything about it mm -hmm. and so it's just jumping into the void and not really knowing where you're gonna fall right it's just basically winging it mm -hmm. <laughs> pero one thing that i realized was like even if you say you have that wing it attitude but you also have to have that learn it attitude mm -hmm. towards the process mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. um also um physically um I sacrificed myself so much. Like it came to the point that my acid reflux just became so high. It was just. I, I heard that you're immortal. That you don't sleep. What's the secret? How, I mean, how do you keep yourself running every single day? Because that's <laughs> immortal. You know, the word is immortal. Immortal, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, they call me in the office mutant. <laughs> mutant. Um, yeah. You don't sleep. Because like for me. It came to a point, but it's it's a wrong mentality. Mm. I was like, okay, if I sleep, it's like, uh, it's wasting time. Like, um, I could have done something yeah. else. But it's actually me sacrificing my own self. And if I don't function, it means yeah. no one else will. Your entire team, your family is relying on mm. you. So you have to take care of yourself, right? So that was when at some point, I remember... I like I was editing and we were on our way to the to to our holiday and I was still holding the laptop until checked in mm -hmm. until um and then Vito told me like um mama I don't want to go to school anymore mm -hmm. he blurted it out and I was like why don't you want to go to school because if I don't go to school it means you don't have to pay for my school and it means you'll spend oh, more time with me oh my goodness 
So that was, I was oh. like, um, right. Oh my goodness. I must be doing something wrong here. There's no balance at all. Like, it's see, just this is what people don't understand. They don't understand the sacrifice behind. They see the beautiful photo. Mm. They think it's effortless. They do not know what's happening no. behind the scenes that, mm. you know, you're sacrificing your personal life there. Like it was, um, I literally was like, look guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to pull out myself from the office. But then it wasn't fixing it too. I mm -hmm. still couldn't find the balance of mm -hmm. how to be able to still be at home and be the, prof the, the, the professional mm -hmm. that I am. Mm -hmm. But then now, I'm just so happy that we're like, our team is a lot more stronger. Mm -hmm. Although it still is hard for me to step back. So this is why this cut happened. What happened? So we had a team building, and this was such an eye-opener because it was basically me micromanaging. Uh -huh. So it was a team effort of having to spin this big wheel mm -hmm. And you have to push it on the side. And our guy was like, look, I got it covered. I'm spinning it. And I put my hand in. I was like, no, you have to. Oh and my then I goodness. Cut it. And I had the reflection on the way to the hospital. And I was like, no, he got it covered. But yeah. I pushed myself in. And you really need to step back, um, right? You so need to step like, back. No, they can handle it. They can do it. And wow. it, that's a painful lesson though. It's a great reminder. It's there. <laughs> it's, it's three stitches in and then I'd see it all the time. And that's basically me like, it's, it's a self reminder that, yeah. okay. So the next time you have to meddle, you have to look at your hand just to, you know, get reminded, right? Because sometimes I tell like, um, whoever is working around me, like, I'm so sorry. I don't, yeah. it's not because I don't trust you. It's just me mm -hmm. in my head. Um, but that's another battle that I need to, mm -hmm step back with but like as any other struggle wise you always have two options um in terms of perspective of mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. it's either to you can sit in the corner and dwell on it mm -hmm. or you can do something about it i guess is there a secret haiku who's the haiku that nobody knows ah what is she she's she's actually very insecure and scared very. It doesn't look very. like that. You're so good at hiding this. So every time I actually, it's the closest people that know. Mm -hmm. Like um, they know that when I'm like smiling mm -hmm. a lot more or like ah, that's when I. I'm that's actually, the sign. Like, that's when I freak out. That's when yeah. like Jesse would hold my hand. Like okay. look, you're fine. You're okay. This is not you. Or sometimes when I'm being filmed or being photographed, mm -hmm. um he'd always like look you're okay mm -hmm. you can do this like you don't need to do that fake smile yeah. you can get it covered and that's why i'm happy because this is one of the first times that because he's my comfort zone in mm -hmm. terms of interviews too and he's not here mm -hmm. and then he's like i think you need to be a big girl about this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm like yeah i think you're right <laughs> 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 but it just freaks me out every time yeah. like my camera or like if someone oh takes a goodness. picture of me it's like eh, you should think. teach a lesson on how to overcome your fear right <laughs> what's your secret pleasure Oh. If you had all the time in the world and you're all alone, what would Haiku be doing? What's a secret pleasure there? Me? I would just sit by the beach. Like, I always like, just imagine myself sometimes like sitting on the I beach. I know, you're a mermaid, right? That's how you used to refer to yourself, yeah. Mm, like sitting on the beach, mango shake, mm -hmm. sipping on a mango shake, and mm -hmm. just like looking out and just seeing how beautiful things are. Mm -hmm. um, I get pleasure mostly when it, like, when. I get to eat what I want to eat. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the mentality why I work hard too. Um, Are you a healthy eater? It depends. <laughs> when I feel unhealthy, I become a healthy really? eater. Really? Okay. But like, in my head, it's not about like when, because people sometimes ask us, why do you work so hard? Mm -hmm. Why don't you stop? Like in my head, I'm like, I just want, I don't want to be super rich or mm -hmm. do i just want to be comfortable that i can eat whatever i want to eat and you don't have to worry i guess True. Yeah. or if my family would need something we can provide especially now that the parents have medical conditions mm -hmm. like that's mm -hmm. just one of my main goals is to be able to give back to them as well um it's just a sense of comfort mm -hmm. that um that's why we work hard silly question go if you're an ulam what would you be I'm always asking this question. I don't know why. I love the question. What kind of ulam is haiku? Paksiw na lechon. Paksiw na lechon. Okay, please explain. Because when you eat lechon, you feel like it's already 
cooked and seasoned enough. Okay. So you think it's already great. All right. Um, but you can actually recook it again and then uh -huh. make it better. Okay, I like that. And then just like adobo, paksiyo na lechon, uh, paksiyo na lechon is the more the longer it tastes better. Yes. So the second time you're you making me hungry it, now. <laughs> the second time you recook it, it's better and it lasts longer. What's the what's the one thing that somebody can do to you that you will really hate? That would kill a friendship. Lying to me. Lying to you. Mm. Like I would rather have someone like tell me straight up, mm -hmm. like, look, I can't do this, um, or, but. When someone lies to me, that's when I'm like, bloop, out, you're out. Like, no explanations, mm -hmm. no fixing, no nothing. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the main things that I really look out for friends or mm -hmm. for, like, I'd rather be someone be blunt to me if they mm -hmm. don't want to say it. Like, backstabbing for me is something I can forgive. Mm -hmm. Or Really? Yeah, that's, that's something that okay. I can, like, maybe that's just a bad personality. Or, mm -hmm. But lying is like cheating. Mm -hmm. It's... You do it because you want to cause, um, you may be protecting something, but you're inflicting hurt mm -hmm, straight mm -hmm, away. So mm -hmm. I think that's one thing. What's the one thing that people can do for you that will make you happy? Ooh, On the flip I'm side. I'm very shallow though. Really? How um, shallow is shallow? Sometimes you just bring me food, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. Or it was funny because for my birthday last year, the guys in the office were like, oh, what should we give her as a birthday gift? And then I was like, look, think simple. And then mm -hmm. they gave me a bottle of kimchi. I was over them and I was like, yes! I was like, that's it, just food, that's it. Food talaga. Mm. Food talaga. What, what is still out there for you to conquer? A lot What's more. the hope? What's the hope? Um, What's the ultimate dream there? I mean, the, the ultimate dream is having to be able retire, uh, to retire with financial freedom. Mm -hmm. And having to be able to stop that cycle, that Filipino cycle of the, the, the children having to, be able, uh, the, having to be able to provide for mm -hmm. their parents mm -hmm. and the parents becoming a burden to their mm -hmm. um, children. Um, that's one thing that I, that, that's just my goal, is for Vito to be able to live his life not mm -hmm. having to to conform with anything and I'm just so happy I'm, I'm being able to provide with my parents because that's one thing that I was so scared about because mm -hmm. I know that they've worked so hard for me and they gave up everything it came to a point that like financially they they sacrificed too so I know that it was only me that was going to be able to mm -hmm. um, to provide for them when it's their time to retire so not like when you have siblings, mm -hmm. you have someone to You're the only share one. the burden with. Mm -hmm. So like now I'm happy that um, I can provide for them. And like big, big goal is just house by the beach. House by the beach. Yeah. Not bad. Huh? Not a bad dream. House by the beach, hostel, you cook eggs for people in the morning. I love. I so love. nice. Three things for people who want to be successful like you. Frame that for us. What are the three things? First thing is you really need to have patience. You have to wait. Mm -hmm. You have to wait for things to, to, to work out for you. And if it works out for you in the process, you work hard for it too. Mm -hmm. So, because I feel like now people don't have the patience to be successful mm -hmm. because everything is so accessible, they just want to be successful straight yeah. away. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one, because with time, it teaches you with um, like experience or all the things like um, I, I, I saw this quote that um, the difference between a young successful person and an, old success, an older successful person is the older successful person gets to keep their, their peace more mm -hmm. because they have failed more. Mm -hmm. So they would know how to fix things. Um, I guess, yeah. If things doesn't work out. True. But that's what's scary when you're successful to when you're young. Too fast, no? It's because you haven't gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. And if things don't work out, which I experienced too, I didn't know what to do. Um, so that's one. Patience. Yes, so one is patience. Um, second is having to have that... Um, fix it mentality mm -hmm. 
Like, if you're sad, entertain yourself. If you feel weak, find like something that, yeah. mm -hmm. to, to, to get yourself and be mm -hmm. stronger again. Um, th that's it, really. If you're hungry, you eat. If you're scared, yeah, you, you confront suck it, it up. Yeah, yeah you suck mm -hmm. it up. Because, um, mm -hmm. like, so that's the second one. And then the third one is having to be humble and to never ever forget everyone who's helped you along the way. Because um, every person that you meet has a reason. Mm -hmm. It can, you can either nurture that relationship because you'll never know. You'll meet that person 10 years later, five years later, and it, it will be of help. Or you can give back to that person mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think those are the three things. So those are your three prescriptions for success. What would you say to haters or negative people in the community? Just to wrap this up. Um, What's the haiku message there? Spend your time wisely. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, no, no, there's nothing wrong about it. If you hate on someone, um, do it. But um, just whatever you do, make sure that it will be of value to you mm -hmm. or, or it will, something positive would come out from mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing wrong to bash, which is, that's why I'm happy about this, is because we all got together and we did something Exactly, about right? It. Yeah, there's always a silver lining yeah. somewhere, right? And it's not like telling a hater wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just sending a message out that you can do it constructively and mm -hmm. you can do it in a more positive way mm -hmm. where it can be embraced mm -hmm. rather than being shrugged off. Yeah, there's always a way of doing things very well. Mm. Thank you very much. We wish you all the success. Yeah, thanks a lot. And I would like to eat lechon paksiu now. Yeah. <laughs> lechon paksiu for the win. Thank you so much, Aiko. Thank you. Thank you. Yay.